Hello and welcome to our Teacher Spotlight series where we interview staff here at Greystone. This week's interview is dedicated to Mr. Gill. In his spare time, he likes reading, hiking, and listening to music. After school, he helps run the middle school band that he started this academic year. Now on to our interview with Mr. Gill. What is your name and then what courses do you teach here? I'm Mr. Gill. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Mr. Gill and um, I teach music. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. What college or university did you attend? Um, well, I got a bachelor's degree in, mm -hmm. uh, at Indiana State University in music, performance, mm -hmm. and then I got another, a master's degree in uh, music performance mm -hmm. at UNC School of the Arts. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been teaching? So I started teaching uh, when I was pursuing a master's degree at UNC School of the Arts. Mm -hmm. I became a teacher assistant in the flute studio, mm -hmm. so I was coaching like um, high schoolers, because I have a high school program there, and also undergraduates. I was mm -hmm. coaching ensembles and mm -hmm. doing, giving private lessons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What inspired you to be a teacher? So precisely that. I mean, when I started uh, uh, teaching and working with high schoolers and undergraduates, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I found, I found a lot of joy doing that, so mm -hmm. uh, that's why. But it's also an expectation, like when you're a musician, like mm -hmm. most musicians, they end up teaching. So um, it was an expectation mm -hmm. that, and at, at least for me, you know, mm -hmm. that I was going to become a teacher mm -hmm. no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what would you say your favorite parts about teaching middle school music are? What was that? Well, what would you say your favorite parts about teaching middle school music are? Um, I would say it's definitely the students, you mm -hmm. know, because I, I really enjoy uh, seeing the excitement um, on their faces mm -hmm. and uh, and sometimes they're surprises, you mm -hmm. know, because they, they, they think, well, I'm, um, I don't think we're going, to, we're going to be able to do this, right? And then we work on it, and, and then just the, their excitement and their joy. I think that's the, the my mm -hmm. most favorite thing, yeah. Uh, who do you say your, mo your favorite musical figure is? Oh, that's a tough one to um, <laughs> answer because, I don't know, I admire so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, that's a really tough one to answer. I, I, do, it, I do listen to... Um, to many, many artists. I, I would say uh, my, the mentors I've had, uh, one of them, his name is, it was William Bennett, mm -hmm. and I, uh, he really impacted my life. Mm -hmm. um, and he was a flutist uh, from England. Uh, he mm -hmm. passed away um, a couple of years ago uh, now, but I would say he, he was a very enthusiastic person. You know, he was like almost 90 years old and he still had all this energy and his passion for teaching too. Mm -hmm. I think uh, William Bennett probably was. And then what would you say person. your favorite part about Greystone is? Um, I, I would say the staff and the mm -hmm. students. I, I really enjoy working with this staff mm -hmm. um, and with the students as well. They're mm -hmm. really good kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing us to interview. Of course, thank you.